What is a scientific fact that absolutely blows your mind? There are actually blood vessels obstructing light from reaching certain areas in your eye. Effectively creating a shadow. Your brain filters this out and essentially fills in the gaps so you don't actually see the spider web like network of black lines. However, you can visualize them by shining a light at a diagonal into your eye, not directly, and gently wiggling it about. This means your brain doesn't have enough time to filter it out, and you see the spider web like network of blood vessels. Technical instructions to clarify the actions involved. I find it easier to see this effect in a dark environment. So the contrast of the black shadow against the light is higher. You want to be staring straight ahead and shining the light into your pupil at a 45 degree angle from the side directed at your nose. Phone light will be great. Then wiggle the light in gentle 1 cm movement side to side. Keep this up for about a second at least and you should see them. Hope this clears it up a bit. Here's a diagram of how to flash the light into your eyes. HTTPS slash slash inga com slash gallery slash if wolf Slime molds don't have brains or nervous systems, but somehow retain information and use it to make decisions. Even more crazy is that they confuse with another individual and share the information. The human body has at least 150 billion neurons. Caterpillars basically dissolve into liquid in the cocoon. The only thing left are the so-called backquote imaginal discs. Groups of cells that contain all the information and the mechanism to turn that soup into the various body parts of a butterfly. The same applies for other insects. If you put one of every animal in a bag and then pick one out you have a one-fifth chance in picking a beetle. There are eight times as many atoms in a teaspoonful of water as there are teaspoonfuls of water in the Atlantic Ocean. Sharks are older than trees. Also. Trees almost killed all land life on earth as they use to be nothing that could decompose them. So dead trees covered the ground and killed all other vegetation. Only once fungus evolved did trees start decomposing. There are some ice age animals that are so perfectly preserved in permafrost that scientists have been able to find them still with all their soft tissue, hair, and organs. They even found a couple mammoths that still had liquid blood in them, and I remember one scientist even tasting the mammoth meat. Also there was a mummy found in China that was so well preserved that she still had all her skin, hair, organs, etc. Her body was even flexible that you could bend her limbs as if she was alive. They even found her last meal still in her stomach and could perform an autopsy on her to tell you why she died. She died over 2000 years before she was found. Approximately 99.85% of all the mass in the solar system is concentrated in the sun. Dinosaurs lived on the other side of the galaxy from where we are now. If two pieces of the same type of metal touch in space, they will bond and be permanently stuck together. Space welding, cold welding. I recently read about the split brain experiments. There is a procedure for severe epilepsy that involves cutting the connecting nerves of the two brain hemispheres, resulting in the two hemispheres being unable to communicate with each other. The experiment shows that both halves can answer questions independently of each other, have separate opinions slash preferences, form memories independently, basically suggesting that there are two minds in the brain that just blows my mind or minds. Edit. Typus. Voyager 1 has been traveling 30, 000 miles per hour for 43 years and it's only 20 light hours away. The size of animals still blows my mind. You can read about how manta ray is 23 feet long and 3 tons, but it doesn't really hit you until you realize that's heavier than most cars. You can fit all the planets, Pluto included, between the Earth and Moon. All matter literally gives off light. But we can only see a sliver of that spectrum, although we do have tools to help us see other spectrums. Our bodies give off infrared and are basically glowing in that portion of the spectrum similar to how iron glows to our normal vision when it's heated. Something that sees a different spectrum than us might not see hot iron as glowing at the same temperatures we see iron glow at. 
Without the development of genuinely sci-fi travel technology like wormholes or hyperspace, which may not even be possible. 99. 99 plus percent of the universe will be forever locked off from us. Because of cosmic expansion. The various galactic clusters are moving away from our local cluster faster than we could ever catch up to them. How much empty space there is in atoms. Like how the fuck I'm a solid object. I'll never understand. T-Rex lived 66 million ish years ago. Stegosaurus lived 155 million ish years ago. The gap between Rex and Stego is 16 million ish greater than between Rex and present day. If the distance between Earth and the Sun were the thickness of a dime, the next closest star would be 10 miles away.